What is up YouTube, it's Bucky and welcome to your 6th intermediate Java tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over something called linked list. Now what a linked list is, is it's pretty much the same as a list, it actually inherits from the interface list but it also has some other methods of its own. So let's go ahead and get started. I already uh, imported everything from util and that's where we need everything from in there. So the first thing I want to do is give myself a little space and we need to be building two arrays that we're going to be converting in the list and then from that list we're going to be doing some methods to it that you can only do linked list. So let's go ahead and make a string array and I'm just going to name mine things and just go ahead and type like um, it actually doesn't matter how many so you actually probably need like more than five in each list so let's go ahead and put apples um, noobs Ponage. Is that how you spell? How do you spell ponage? Just like that. Good enough. And let's see what else. Bacon. And let's go add one more thing. Goats. Oh well, we can capitalize it if we want to. No biggie. And so now we have a string or an array of things, which everything is spelled wrong, I believe. And that's what you want, or else it won't work. So next, go ahead and make a list, and we're obviously play, putting string data into it, and just name it list1, and set this equal to a new linked list, and this is, of course, string data2, and don't forget your parentheses at the end. And now from here, we have a list1 that's empty in an array of things, and trust me, they're just random things. So now let's go ahead and make an enhanced for loop string x, and we're going to be using the array strings and what we want to do is take list one and add each item of the array which is temporarily x in the list one so what this does right here is pretty much populates list one um, with the thing in string so now list one and the array things are identical so let's go ahead and make another list just so I can show you guys how to combine them so string and make things two and set this one equal to come on cursor get over there get it there you go sausage and you actually need to type these things or else the program won't work bacon I know it's weird your compiler knows um we can use a uh, goats again but this time I spell it right and again since this is a list it doesn't matter if you have duplicates or not and I forgot to check my timer, so I have no idea how far into this tutorial I am. And of course, you can't see. Uh, that's pretty cool. Maybe if I click on tools. No. Oh, well, I'll mess with it later. And one last thing is Harry Potter. So this is looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and put list. And just go ahead and put string. And just make a list two. And what this is going to do is it's going to be new linked list as well with of course string data and we're going to be eventually putting well we'll just do it right now for string y as things too what do we want to do we want to add all the elements from um that things array into the list number two so go ahead and add everything from y and it should be good so things to list to add y and oh, we'll figure out if we did something wrong later I don't feel like checking it right now so now what we want to do is take a list one and add all not add or all um, a list number two and what add all is built in method it takes everything from this list as its parameter and adds it to the list list so now list number two is the same still but list number one is now combined of all these things right here since we added everything to it so now we don't really need list number two. So we can take list number two and set it equal to null just to free up some of our memory. And don't forget this. list number two equals null and good. So now what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is we're going to be building let's see blah, 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 three methods. Print me, which is going to take a parameter of list one. We're going to do remove stuff, which is going to take a parameter of list one and two locations so two 
to 5 and what this method is going to do and again we're going to be building these so you're going to get error right now what this is going to do is it's going to remove the stuff in list 1 from 2 to 4 yeah I know I have a 5 but 2 to 4 because you know um, it starts at 0 and you know how that is and let's go ahead and print that out print me and print list 1 again could just copy it and paste Ugh, why didn't I and now the last one reverse me is you can take everything in your list number one and reverse it so again we're going to be building all of these in the next tutorial again can't get it done in this tutorial um, first it's going to print out your list then it's going to take stuff out from it and print it again just to show you that it did and this reverse me is pretty much just going to um, reverse everything and just print it out so that's why we don't need to print me after that so thank you guys for watching this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be getting to the good stuff, building all of our custom methods. With um, you're going to be learning all new methods that are in the linked list class. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next tutorial.